Thank you so much, Chairman Richmond, um, for doing this. And I think it's incredibly, incredibly important that our three caucuses, the minority caucuses, are standing together because we as people of color know that often people try to pit us against each other. When we do have the same experiences, we do understand that we stand on the shoulders of every other group that has fought for the rights and for the justice that we hold dear as a democracy and as a country. And John Lewis, I one of the most inspiring things was when I was on the Immigrant Workers Freedom Ride in 2003, I got to share the stage with you. And to me, there was no greater honor. Now I have a greater honor of serving in Congress with you. You are a hero. Every person that tries to make this country better through a variety of nonviolent protests and tactics is important to moving that moral arc of the universe more quickly towards justice. Asian Americans and KPAC stand strongly on the side of justice of all of our communities. We understand because Asian Americans were excluded for many, many, many centuries in this country. In fact, very recently, South Asians were not allowed to become citizens of this country. We certainly understand all of the issues with the immigration system. We understand racial profiling. But in the end, what the NFL players did caused so many of us to feel tremendous pride. My home team, the Seattle Seahawks, were right out there in front. And when they took that knee, understanding that that is the ultimate form of patriotism, to fight for justice, to fight against what they see, what we all see every day as wrong, which is the gunning down of black men by our police, the school to prison pipeline, the fact that a young black man has to walk outside and wonder where he's, whether he's wearing his pants too low or his hoodie too high. Those are things that are unacceptable for every one of us. And whether we're black or brown, we understand the nature of injustice. There is no hierarchy of oppression here. That is what the other side does to us to try to divide us. And to see our tri caucuses standing so strongly together is incredibly, incredibly important. Remember that these words from this president, who could have been talking about all the things that Mr. Espayat said, but didn't, is the same president that would not call out white supremacists in Charlottesville. And yet, to question the patriotism of these NFL players who are fighting for their very communities, their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers, to be able to stand and have the same dignity and respect and actually life that we all take for granted when we walk outside the door. Let me end by saying that there is a quote from, uh, from, one, of our, from one of our Seahawks, um, wide receiver Doug Baldwin, and here's what he said. He said, I think we have been very clear about our message, and our point is that we are protesting inequality and injustice in America for people of color. It's as simple as that. This is a big picture conversation and an everyday conversation. And we in America have to understand that we have got to talk about institutionalized racism because it is real. And we have got to understand that we as communities of color have the right to protest what we see as extreme injustices and to